At some point in time this season, the Milwaukee Bucks front office and coaching staff is going to have to make some tough decisions thanks to the play of Bobby Portis. Bobby Portis was once someone who looked like he could be on his way out of the NBA, had some off-court issues, some in-team issues, was a fine player, but nothing special. A few years removed from that, however, and a championship later, time with a good organization in Milwaukee as opposed to a poor team at the time in Chicago, he has become a very good starting big this season in the NBA, filling in for the injured Brook Lopez, and it is now going to cause an interesting scenario moving forward regarding the future of Brook Lopez in Milwaukee and how they balance Brook Lopez and Bobby Portis moving forward. So let's talk about it. Let's start off with the good play of Bobby Portis this season. Stats are career highs across the board. A bit of a drop in efficiency from last year, but he's in a bigger role in the starting lineup, so that's to be expected. But it's still very good efficiency, good spacing, good three-point shooting amongst the best spacing big men in the league and much better than we've seen from Brook Lopez over the last couple of years. A fine rim protector, not amazing. That is one thing Brook Lopez has over him. But with Giannis alongside him, often playing as a help defender, his rim protection does not need to be elite. And that is alongside the fact that Giannis at the five lineups, especially come playoff time, are arguably the best lineup for the Bucs anyways. So let's talk about how that impacts where Brook Lopez fits in with the Milwaukee Bucks when healthy. So we have the Bobby Portis impact where Bobby Portis has been playing very well in pretty much every aspect better than Brook Lopez has for the last couple seasons. Also, as aforementionally mentioned, Giannis at the five is arguably the Milwaukee Bucks best lineup come playoff time. Throw in Drew Holiday, Chris Middleton, Grayson Allen, and then uh, whether you want to throw out P.J. Tucker, uh, not P.J. Tucker anymore, sorry, Matt Connaughton, Dante DiVincenzo, those types of lineups are going to be successful. You also now have DeMarcus Cousins at the center spot. So not to say that he is at anywhere near the same level as Brooke Lopez, but there is a little bit more depth of some level of quality at the center spot. Now, I'm not highly advocating for Cousins to see playoff minutes this season because I don't love his defensive ability for the playoffs, but nonetheless, he is there and on the roster. And as far as Robin Lopez goes, he's got a big contract and not as good of a spacer or shooter as Bobby Portis at this point in time. And he's still got a big contract for the next two years, a lot bigger than Bobby Portis's is. However, Bobby Portis is only guaranteed to be on the team for the next season and could opt out next year. And he likely will as he's on an extremely small deal and took a discount to come back to Milwaukee this season. As mentioned, Brook Lopez does beat Bobby Portis in terms of rim protection, but with Giannis on the team and their lineups in the playoffs being best with Giannis at the five, the role and need for Brock, Brooke Lopez may be dwindling. Portis is seven years younger. Brooke Lopez still has two years left on his deal at over $13 million a season. If there is a market for Brooke Lopez via a trade, it is possible that we see him move this off this before the trade deadline. It is very possible we see Brooke Lopez move before the trade deadline, especially if Milwaukee can get some amount of an indication that Bobby Portis is interested in returning past this season. However, whether Brooke Lopez will get traded from the Milwaukee Bucks is a bit unclear. Regardless, either way, though, Bobby Portis has been great. To be honest, the five lineups are impactful, and the addition of DeMarcus Cousins has been decent, and so it certainly will result in some tough decisions for the coaching staff and the front office moving forward regarding Brooke Lopez. Ultimately, even when he comes back, regardless of when he comes back, I don't think he will be moved, but I think the difference in role between Lopez and Bobby Portis is going to be much smaller, and I wouldn't even be shocked to see Bobby Portis remain the starting center at this point in time. That is my thoughts on Bobby Portis, his play, and the interesting center situation moving forward for the Milwaukee Bucks. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Hope you guys have a great start to your new year. Be sure to click the box on screen for another Milwaukee Bucks video just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.